Like if you were my co-pilot and you had to do the same by watching through my hands. And if I was just holding a phone in my hand, yeah. this is way more immersive. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, 100%. I've been flying a lot of FPV and specifically the Avada just because it's the newest. I love the characteristics of it. And I've really been getting into the cinematic, um, Cinewhoop type of videos for my channel and just for my overall enjoyment. And I've also been flying a lot of the Mavic 3, especially with all my hyperlapses. So now recently a company reached out to me to see if I want to try one of their products and that was the drone mask, specifically the drone mask too. And when I read the email, I thought to myself, eh, I don't think that it's worth my time or energy because as I mentioned, I've been flying a lot of the GPS drones, specifically the Mini 3 and the Mavic 3. And with both of those devices, I have the smart controller. I have the DJI RC Pro and then the DJI RC that comes with the Mini 3. So. The problem here is how do you leverage this controller with a phone, with the goggles? And from my understanding, I don't think you even can. You cannot transmit your video from the RC to your phone so that way you can leverage your goggles like this. You can, however, do that if you have a standard controller, but with the trajectory of DJI and all their drones now being compatible with an RC, I don't really understand why people choose to fly with a standard remote and their phone. Now, as you sort of probably hear in the background, that is the sound of a DJI Avada in the air. And before I said no to Drone Mask for their product here, I said to myself, let me really think through on how this can be useful in 2023. And that is when I thought about just FPV drones overall in general. If you think about it, a lot of times we want to take our peers that are with us, friends or family on a ride along, and you only have one goggle. Well, here's the good news. With the DJI system, the FPV system, whether it's the Avada, the DJI FPV, even the air units, Vistas, O2, O3, the great thing about these goggles is that you can connect them via lightning cable or USB-C cable to an iPhone, to an Android, and output that footage, output that video to your phone. So what's the drone mask good for in 2023? Well, that's exactly what it is good for, to take your friends and family through a ride, through a ride along and having them have the immersive experience of a drone mask. Let's check it out.
So the drone mask, my initial impression was, eh, this is not really something that I would use. But upon trying this out, the unboxing experience, which I thought was phenomenal, just the presentation of the products, the accessory that it includes, I, I think that I actually am sort of liking this thing, but we're gonna have to test it out once I have my co-pilot here with me, Stevie, put on the goggles and watch me fly my DJI Avada and get his perspective as to what it feels like to have goggles and watch FPV content live from goggles versus just a phone. But before we do that, the Drone Mask team included this little cool card inside of the packaging, which really um, just talks about what they are all about. And let me just show it here on, on the screen. So as you can see, the story of the Drone Mask started in 2016 after a trip to cinema in San Francisco, where it dawned upon us that we've gained in mobility smartphones and we'd lost in viewing experience. So we, taught, we sought to change this. So six years later, um, 100 prototypes and 3,000 meetings, around 10,000 cups of coffee. They launched the Drone S2, allowing you to immerse yourself in a cinematic flying uh, experience of flying. So when I was reading this and going through this box, I thought to myself, not only is this good for an FPV experience, of course, a drone experience if you don't have a smart controller, but also what a great way to really watch your favorite TV show or a movie using the mask. It's more immersive. And once you put it on, it's it's on your face. The the feeling is sort of weird. You you think it's a dumb idea. Like I, I thought this was a stupid idea. And after putting it on your face, that's what she said. This is uh this is actually pretty cool. So we'll have to hear out from someone, like I mentioned, my, my peer pilot here, Capture Life Connection, and see how he feels about it once he immerses himself with the mask as well. And I'm using an iPhone, by the way, so I know that if you're using other devices, the experience may be better, may be worse. But overall, I think it is a phenomenal tool to leverage. Text me. Uh, James. Uh, oh, it's like, I don't know if it's a text or whatever. Uh, all right, so that's another good feature of the drone mask. You can see the text message. Huh. Ooh, wow. Yeah, so you see that? Yeah. That's what that's what's the feeling of flying FPV, but you're an FPV pilot, so you, yeah. you are useless. It's, it's weird not controlling for me, you know, like. Oh, so you're doing like ninja moves? Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> Like, I want to move it. <laughs> this is cool, though. I like it. Now, honest opinion, though, is it better than holding the phone, like, on your hand and watching it? Oh, yeah. Like, if you were my co-pilot and you had to do the same but watching through my hands. And if I was just holding a phone in my hand? Yeah. This is way more immersive. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. And I feel like the... You have an iPhone, too, right? Yeah. But I feel like that, that uh, magnifying plastic thing that it has in the front makes the picture look more high def. That's what I thought. It looks sick. I can even see the grain when you're inside. Yeah, you see that? I see the detail. No, this is way better than holding a phone in my hand. It's cool, you, I think. When you got low to the floor when you first took off, yeah. like I just, I just felt like, you know, like I had to move, like I wanted <laughs> to go up. Yeah, your FPV I was very kicks, Yeah, kicked I was in. very involved. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is cool. Now, I guess the only thing that's annoying is you see the notifications on the phone. Yeah. But that, you can turn it off. That's you can a, put it in that's airplane a, mode or something? Yeah, that's a user error. Like, me not putting the, my phone in airplane mode. Or or just shut down the no notifications for the, yeah. the apps that are most busy. Yeah. Now, you can see all my telemetry data. You can see how fast I'm going, right? Or it's just a video? No, it's just a video. Oh, okay. I don't see any telemetry. Oh, that's because I have the, the goggles too. The V2s is the ones that do all the telemetry. This is cool. I can, I can really see the kids getting a kick out of this. 
Like I think, yeah, for families to leverage it using um, like Netflix or YouTube, right? While they're in the car. Yeah, another thing is, what's the price point on this? I think it's like $160, $180. So it is expensive. No, but it's still in comparison to buying a, a second pair of goggles for a ride along. Oh yeah, this I think is 100%. way cheaper. Yeah, I think 100%. Yeah, and I know people that do that on purpose. They get extra goggles just to have ride along. Yeah, you know? actually a lot of people do that. A and lot. This is a, a cheaper alternative. By yeah. Far. Yeah. I think that that alone is a good sell. For yeah. Me. Now, what about the light leak? Eh, it's it's very slight. Tell you the truth, it's not bad. But it's, we we did have a problem with the cable, right? Yeah, the cable was. It, we had to finagle it, right? And and that caused a little bit of light leak. Um, so it's not the perfect solution, right? Yeah. But I think uh, with some modifications, they probably come out with a nice V2. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, they need to take into account that with FPV drones, you have to tether. Right, it's and, not. Yeah, they, they're not, they need to have that understanding. But you know what though, to their, perhaps to their benefit, we're in a time where you, you buy a product and how often do you read the manual? Your instructions. Next to never. <laughs> exactly. And that's why YouTube is so great. So <laughs> I did just unbox this today and we put the phone in there. Did zero reading besides the card that shows more about them and like what they're about and how they started the organization. So I'd be curious to see once we land, if we look at the box, the instruction and see if, if it shows you a better way to mount that cable because that cable is very annoying. And I'm using an iPhone Pro Max, so the larger one. It looks great. So I also found it kind of tight too, right? So maybe if the mask could be a little bit larger. I think about like those people with the explosive phones, what they call them, the Samsung Notes, like what Anthony Troll uses. <laughs> with, his, with, his, with his fit there, probably. All right, so I think I'm gonna come in for a landing. I just, Stevie wanted you to get this flying experience. You do fly FPV now. Yes. And I, when I first tried this on, looking at it through, my, through the lens myself, through the phone, I thought, wow, this would be cool for someone who doesn't fly FPV. Yeah, I think there will be more. Uh, Wild. Yeah, they more will be moving with it. Yeah. Because I'm used to these motions. Yeah. But, it, you know, in the beginning, I felt like I wanted to control it. Like, it was weird not, not controlling it. It's like my first ride along. Now, how does it feel like when I'm landing? You might feel like I'm going to crash into the wall here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. You see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Using those bumpers. Yeah. <laughs> Putting the Avada to the test. Yeah. The Avada is great, man. So, that Stevie. Cool. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, definitely. I think it's a good investment for those that want to give people a ride along. It's, it's, yeah. It's just a lot cheaper than the goggles. I think that's the a good sale for FPV drone pilots. Yeah, I agree. And it's not, it doesn't look cheap either. I, th no. I thought it, it did well. It's cool, they did, they did a good job. Yeah, they cool. They did a good job for sure. Well, thank you for trying it out and giving me your, your first feedback yeah, at hand. Man. Thanks for the opportunity, man, no I appreciate it. So let's talk about the drone mask, right? And my overall impressions of this thing and final conclusions. So at first I thought that the drone mask was a complete gimmick and a waste of time. But after trying it out, I do want to give it its fair chance and I can recommend it. I don't know at the price point, but if you have the money and if you are really all about giving your co-pilot or you know if you're flying a um, GPS drone without a smart controller, then it might be worth it. But I think the first feature that I really want to call out is that this gives you a seamless and immersive experience when you're flying with your goggles on. So I never owned the first version of these goggles. However, um, the biggest complaint that folks had when trying the first uh, version is that it was completely covered on its side. So there wasn't a way for you to change or access your phone. There wasn't a, few, a, a way for you to go through features, maybe swipe something else, swipe something left tap on your menu, you didn't have that functionality because you didn't have these things here. So now with the uh, Drone Mask 2, they did include these holes here which are covered with a piece of fabric 
And although the idea is good, I think there's still some opportunity. Um, I think they could have done this a little bit better. Maybe they perhaps could have closed this a little bit more. You do not need this entire space here um, to put your fingers. And the reason why I'm not sort of sold on this all the way through is because there are some light leaks. The light leaks are very minimal right now, perhaps because I just got it. I worry that over time, I don't know how durable this flap will be and would it come back to the edge. The intention is for it to come back to the edge so that you can, uh, you know, cover the light from leaking through through your goggles. But even like on day one here, the, the light leaks are evident and you can see it very minimal, but it's definitely there. Now, what's really, really cool about this and what I said about it being immersive is that once you put your phone in because of this, um, this thing that it has here in the front, almost like um, like lenses that you will get from 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 lens glasses, right? From a pair of reading glasses or whatever. It provides like it almost gave my iPhone a higher definition, if you will. So almost a clearer image. Once you put it on this thing, whatever this is right here, that's what makes these goggles super immersive and I was really blown away. I first thought that this was essentially a cardboard in the box. You're putting it in your face and it's just holding your phone. But I see how whatever material or whatever this is, it's just like a magnet, um, not a magnet, um, a magnet, but a, mag a magnifying glass, similar to like reading glasses, as I mentioned. This is providing some sort of a higher elevated video that you can see more clear. Everything looks sharp, everything looks crispy clean when you are watching through these drone masks. For my GPS drone pilots out there, I don't know if you cannot for certain duplicate your video feed from a smart controller. I think that you can't, right? Um, but I, I don't, don't quote me on this for certain. However, if you can, or if you have a regular controller, where I see this being the best use case scenario is with the sun in extreme heat. Now, I don't know if your phone is going to overheat in this. I hope not. We are in February now, so like today is 40 degrees, it's quite cold. But on my iPhone, the biggest pet peeve I have is that once you are in heat or the phone starts to heat up and you are in direct sunlight, it makes it almost impossible for you to see uh, your screen, right? And if you're flying a drone, a GPS camera drone, that's very annoying. You can't see anything. Now, I know that if you have a regular controller, I'm thinking back when I had my Mavic Pro 2 with a regular controller and I used to use an iPad or my iPhone, they sell these devices that you put over your, your phone, which is essentially it's a, a sun hood. Um, to alleviate and block some of that noise. I've seen back in the days when pilots were flying the old Phantom, they had like this thing that you would put your head in. So it's essentially the drone mask, if you will, and you will put your head in and you will fly like this. So many pilots flying their drones like this. This takes all of that away because you're not gonna get the sun glaring onto your screen because it's protected in this housing case. Now, luckily the mask is gray, so it alleviates some heat from being trapped in. It's not black, thankfully. White would have been really cool, but think about how dirty this thing will get. And what I truly love about the mask is that it includes everything you need, every single accessory. For me, packaging is key and it's very important. And I think that the drone mask was packaged really well. It has a nice little carry-on bag. It has a nice little cloth so you can clean, you know, this glass here that's inside of the mask. It has every single USB cable that you can think of, even if you need to switch from USB-C to a lightning, it comes with those adapters. So I thought that, you know, it's a pretty cool thing to have and definitely, definitely worth it if you're flying FPV. You don't want to buy a second pair of goggles, which is going to cost you $600 and you do want to give your friend, your co-pilot, that ultimate experience by, you know, having their phone on here, but more importantly, having them wear the goggles on their head and letting them get the perspective and that immersive feeling that you are getting as the drone pilot flying with it, uh, flying with the FPV goggles on your head, and they're having the, essentially the same, but with just your phone. All right, so that concludes the video about the drone mask and I'm wearing it and walking. I don't know why I'm doing that, but I think this is pretty cool. I am going to be really interested to let my family try this out, specifically thinking about my kids as they watch perhaps a movie or a TV show, maybe behind the car 
Maybe they'll get motion sick, who knows? But this is gonna be cool for them to also leverage it just watching their favorite show on their phone as we're commuting, traveling, um, and they're not you know, in the convenience of their home with their TV. So that's it guys, let me know what questions you have. I am also gonna be giving these away, so let me know if you are interested. Drop a comment below and I'll randomly pick someone and we'll ship it out to you free of charge. So until next time, guys, peace. These remain safe.